Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones, former paparazzi consultant. Now I just speak out against all things paparazzi. So if you're new to my channel, please try to make it to the end of this video. I will try to keep it under 20 minutes because I know your time is valuable and I'm so grateful that you're deciding to spend it here. Leave a like, leave a comment, share a video that speaks to you to somebody who is in a multi-level marketing company. But most of all, just like and subscribe. Those are the best ways to help my channel grow and to help reach other people. So with that, let's get this party started and here we go. It's Nico Staff, uh, Sunny Travels. It's a YouTube artist, and it's you can honestly listen to the so, the song in its entirety. It's great. So let's get started with hidden gems with Misty Kirby because yeah, that's what I want to do for the second time today. Because the first time I did it, I forgot to have my microphone hooked up. So this is my second time around. Here we go, and I apologize in advance. <laughs> because I'm already real. So anytime, Misty, show up in your boho shirt soft so you can say obviously 20 million times. Hey, paparazzi, it's Wednesday and time for Hidden Gems. I am so excited because I love this necklace. You can see that these are 3D teardrops. There's enamel paint no on them in that. She loves it. There's no take backs. That's what David just said. What else did you say? There's no way she lied about that. There's no way she would absolutely lie about the fact, even though <laughs> I have an epic pause on the screen right now, to her. <laughs> yeah, well, this one, she looks like she's getting ready to sneeze. <laughs> yeah, okay, so anyway, back to this. Bright green, and it's on both sides. I love this necklace because I feel like it's great to layer with other chokers or other like dainty necklaces, even like the paperclip chain one that I'm wearing with. Obviously, Obviously. this is one that has already Obviously. been released, but to layer something like this with this darling green necklace would it's be so really darling. fun. I feel like this is perfect for the season, both as far as like the temperature season, as well as the trend. So this is a really fun piece. Now this is a cool clip-on. I love our comfort it tablet sounds here heavy. in the back, so it's not going to pinch your ear. But this is a silver earring. You can see the detail is really exposed based on that blue. That blue we call a patina. So when metal oxidizes based on weather, you're going to get like copper becomes a blue or a green. Silver is going to become have that blue hue, and that's what this process mimics. So that. So I have to ask because the first time I recorded this I was being kind of a bitch. So I'm not going to be one now. But anyone with a kindergarten education or who has found a penny on the ground knows what patina is. It's on any coin you find on the ground that's been weathered for a long period of time. Heck, your fruits and vegetables, if you forget to eat them, they become patinaed and moldy on the counter. I think that's a little different. Yeah, it's a little different, but it's the same thing. But it's like hmm metal oxidizes yeah but here's the other thing i have shown paparazzi accessories that people have sent to my p.o box from their own personal inventory uh earrings that have bubbled up paint that's not patina that's not oxidiz oxidation oxidation thank you babe um what that is is cheaply made materials uh, it's basically putting lipstick on a pig at this point. But I think she's mentioning the patina thing. To because they've been in the warehouse so, for so long that we made it intentional. It's intentional. To get out in front of people complaining about the, of the jewelry. That's possible. That's possible that she's getting out in front of the patina. Oh, people are going to complain. They're going to complain. This is, this is cheap looking. It's fading. It's got problems. No, this is intentional. Intentional. 
It's intentional. It's the patina. We, we like it that way. Obviously. You know, because she's going to say that, obviously. Blue over the top is actually what we consider to be a patina. And I feel like this makes it very, very cool and sunsetting. It's sunsetting. And it's fun to have a bigger clip on here. Now, this is a fun bracelet. You've got just that little floral detail. And then right there in the center, the light pink rhinestones. And then suspended is a little flower charm and then a light pink rice rhinestone as well. This would even be cute with something like what I'm wearing to really just kind of take the pink and pop out. It would go really well with boho, obviously. So I'm, I'm calling it Little House on the Prairie where this would go really cute with something like I'm wearing, obviously. It's Little House on the Prairie wear because, you know, obviously. But I'm just going to do something that she's about to do besides punch the camera. So... I'm wearing this ring right here, obviously. It's Moonstone, but it could be like this one too. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm ready, I'm ready. So I placed a light pink stone. This is a natural stone ring with it, but you could play on it That's either way. Unlike This is a fun stones. hair clip, so I wanted you to see, you can see the purple. Yeah, and, and this, this hair clip, I said in the last video that I attempted to record without a microphone, Look, it's Jolly Ranchers on a hair clip. Oh my gosh. I did. It's working because every time I talk, it moves. And then that lighter green and yellow. But when you place it up, you can see how it's like clear over the top of the color. So you really get some dimension. It's really fun to place those hair clips, especially if you're pulling your hair up or you're going to or the Or trying pool, to cover up your split your ends. In the center or do one of the fun braids and twist it up. That's a Ooh. fun one for the oh, summer. Now this is a ring that's going to be a powerhouse ring similar to the one that I'm wearing, but this is with amethyst stone. So I absolutely amethyst. love this. In case you don't know how to say it, it's amethyst stone. Kind of like the rose quartz stone that I'm wearing. So get it right, people. This is natural stone called amethyst. It gives just a big punch so of color on your ring. And you oh, I'm worse than on this one, I think. Other accessories or play on this silver <laughs> with the antique. So my husband's like, so much for you not being bitchy. I was like, I think I'm worse in this video than I was in the last recording. <laughs> because, yeah, I think I'm being, a, I'm being a little bit more sassy in this one, aren't I? Maybe it's because you had to record twice. Uh, and I, you know, and, and she irritates me. I'm not going to lie. She, she irritates me. And I have to hear her say obviously like six or 17 more times. Um, and then I get to see her talk about stretch bracelets and make these faces. And, and, and then she shows off her filigree earrings and, and then the jewelry she's wearing. Um, her necklace doesn't match her earrings or her bracelet. So she's mixing metals. It makes no sense to me. You'll pay attention. You'll see it. Now this is a really fun post earring. So you can see that circle, circle, but it's almost like it's got a wave-like pattern to it. Really? And then placed inside there are iridescent gems, which I absolutely love. This is a little bit daintier. In They're iridescent baguette colored flavored rhinestones. I flavored. They're iridescent baguette style cut rhinestones that look like crystally rainbows. And they show hues of pinks and purples and blues. Oh, my. But um, they come in this cute post earring. And when you hold them up to the light, they iridescently sparkle. Ooh, ah. Which they're, shiny. they're so shiny and cute, obviously. In size. So it's not going to be a powerhouse look. But I feel like because you've got that iridescent, it's going to get a lot of shine with it. So, so pretty. So, so cute. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. I love this necklace. So you're gonna see gold foil-like flex inside each one of those pieces. Flecking. Obviously it's a red base, but it's got quite a bit of- It's flecking gorgeous, you guys. Isn't it just fleckingly beautiful? It's, it's obviously hardware style jewelry because we, we clasped it together with these o-rings and paper clips and it's got a snake chain on it obviously 
but it's kind of a more watermelon color instead of a red but it's more summery with that gold and it's it's seasonal it's seasonal of orange to it so a little bit more watermelon than like a true red and you can see that foil inside is gold so it's going to match the frame on the outside. yeah well i have heard her say it twice now absolutely beautiful it's around and the links are very tight together i also love how these are the circles are linked together you can see those bars so it's a bit more of a hardware look which i think is really really cool and it's so cute and it's so funny it's really really cool and i'm wearing my camouflage flowered little house on the prairie schmuck and at least your hair and your 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 makeup your eye makeup looks good but uh, i get so irritated i you know this is torture for me these days you guys this bracelet okay. that i'm wearing is also currently available why is this torture yeah, why is Okay, why why is watching Hidden Gems or Sneak Peeks with Misty Kirby torture? Because she is obviously faker than fake. Okay, she's clearly selling a product to the people who are her cult-like followers. So she's going to be fake and talk about how great and so cute and so fun this stuff is. Meanwhile, there are people out there that are being financially broken by this company. And... You know, she goes on and she does these sales and it irritates me because she's selling to people who can't afford it in most cases. And she sells this big dream and opportunity and 99.54% of the people in her company, according to her income disclosure statement, fail. But she doesn't seem to give two shits about that. What she cares about is moving this crap out of her warehouse into the hands of end users and getting her money on the cash as quickly as possible, which is why she does hidden gems, which is why she does sneak peeks, is because she needs her consultants, her little star baby consultants and all the new people who have dreams and hopes beyond all recognition, and they set those dreams that scare them in the hopes of achieving them when there's no chance in hell that they will, but she will sell them a shitty pipe dream through the guise of a stupid filigree silicone stretchy band bracelet. And seeing her face do this makes me mad. That's why. Available, you can see that more of a whimsical or like filigree type look. And obviously I've paired, paired it with a bit of a filigree type earring as No one well. cares what earrings you're wearing, Misty Kirby. So you can see the detail. These items are currently available, so go check them out in our shop. Have an amazing Wednesday. So the other thing is, is where did you record this? Because it sounded like you were in a warehouse hangar somewhere or in like an aircraft carrier hangar somewhere. But we all know that all of your corporate closet stuff is done from the corporate closet. So that's where you recorded last year's Pink Friday or whatever. So there's that. But the comments on this, um, I was reading uh, where a lot of these people are from. Because people always say, hello from so-and-so, hello from this state, hello from this state. And a good portion are from the southern states, low-income states, states who don't have a decent standard of living, a decent living wage. So when I... I am overgeneralizing, but, you know, it's like, look at the state's minimum wage. Some of these states, their state minimum wage is still the federal minimum wage. So people aren't making a living, a living wage. They aren't making, you know, a living income. And, and it's, it's reprehensible for the least. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, yeah I know. So, Timu Special just made it to the back office yet again, and then we've got all of this other gorgeous stuff that nobody wants, but obviously, it's country cornucopia. That's what Misty was wearing. That's what Misty was wearing. And then you just scroll up and you see the patina, but this is something seasonal sensations in purple. That's not new. Had that in my store. In blue and in purple. 
So that's not a new piece, but they're going to try and pass it off to all the new consultants who just joined this company. Same with Fashion Fad and Blue. They're going to try and pass that off to you as well. Shimmering Symphonies is very similar to a longer necklace that I had in my store, but it looks like they took the extender chain off and they just made it a shorter necklace. And then we've got bonus points because, yeah, everyone wants that neck mess. And then we've got, we've got this thing that looks a lot like um, frosty something. Melting ice caps. There's melting ice caps. And there's flirty flood. Yay. And then we've got Timu Special. That's not new. Several people who watch my channel still have this in, in, in their inventory. And then this one, Artificial Arches, again, is not new. That's over a year and a half old. They're just bringing it back because they got a whole bunch of new recruits last month. And then this Brassy Dandelion Delight, because that looks expensive. But in a couple of weeks, you guys, they are going to announce the new Z Collection at convention. So... What are they going to start pushing in the next couple of weeks? Get these pieces before they go into the vault forever. So this neck mess called Reminiscent is going to go away. Bountiful, which is probably heavy and will give you a migraine. And then Exquisite, because it totally is not. And then we have Undeniable, the brass collared piece. Mm -mm. And then we have Flawless, which is honestly a Timu special. And then we have Audacious, because it's atrocious. And then we have this flower bohemian thing called Optimistic. I'm optimistic that that will stay in the vault for quite some time. And then we have this. It's called Perceptive. No thanks. And then we have Noble. Again, you can get something eerily similar to that on Timu for $4.98. And then we have this thing called the Jenne. And then we have the Tasha. And then we have the Jennifer. And then we have Hope, who I think is the most disgusting person on the planet. But there's Hope. And then we have the Kim. Ooh. And then we have the Tanger. It looks like something that you found on the ocean floor and just threw together. And then we have the Ebony. Ebony is kind of a nice piece, but again, it's probably heavy. And I wouldn't wear it. But that's just me. So, there's lots going on. But, of course, we have on the Paparazzi Founders Facebook page, uh, co Fortune Cookie Knowledge from Trent Kirby. Hashtag no excuses. Aspire to inspire. I aspire to not perspire. No excuses. That's what secret deodorant it is for. can't be a, a scam if... Because that's an excuse. Yeah, it can't, be, it can't be a scam or a pyramid scheme because that would be an excuse. Hashtag excuses. So, at the end of this video, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for making it to the end. I've said that twice because I'm tired. I was going to go into a lot more, but I am just going to leave this here. There is a petition that is going on out there. It was started by Bling Antine. It's called Compel Paparazzi Accessories to Release uh, the test results of their product. When I first announced this, we were at 72 signatures. We're now at 81. There's a goal to get 100, but I want to shoot higher than that. I would love to see everyone who has sent me their story and told me that they have quit and or stopped shopping with this company to go and sign this petition. All you have to do is sign it and share it with somebody who would be able to sign it as well. So with that, thank you so much for being here. Have an excellent night.